Hello everyone. Welcome to Students Point. This is 10th of April and we will cover all the important current affairs of the day. First let us see question for the day. You have to answer this question in the comment section and on weekend that is on Sunday we will see how many of you were the most consistent in answering all the questions correctly throughout the week. Here is a question. Global initiative on sharing all influenza data was started by these are the options. Read the options very carefully and then answer. And to get PDF of all these videos, you have to join me on Telegram by writing Students Point 2020 on your Telegram app. I repeat Students Point 2020 without any space, without any special character. Just write Students Point 2020. You will be referred to the channel and thereon you will get PDF. And today's video is very important, so be attentive till the end. Let's begin. I got e-learning platform is launched by so I got e-learning platform is launched by Department of Personal and Training that is DOPT in short and it will equip the frontline workers with the training and updates in coping with the COVID-19 pandemic. Next question modified Swachta application has been launched by so this modified Swachta application has been launched, launched by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. So here B is the right answer. Remember Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs has launched this modified FASTA application. And this modified version of the application has new categories. These are a person can request for sanitation during COVID-19. A person can report suspected cases, reporting of violation of quarantine and lockdown. A user can also request medicine during COVID-19, request for food, shelter and request of waste pickups. Next question. Consider the following statements about consumer price index. See, this is a topic of economy, consumer price index. It is a weighted average of prices of consumer goods and services such as food, transportation and medical care. This is correct. So CPI, in short it is called as CPI, it is based on the average price of goods and services of a basket of goods and services. See certain goods and services are included in a basket which are common for use of everyone throughout the country and their average price is calculated and then it is calculated as CPI that is consumer price index and it shows inflation in the country and the cost of living in the country. The term Mahangai, which we call in Hindi, is actually referring to this consumer price index. And Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation collects and compiles it. This is also correct. So CSO, that is Central Statistics Organization, working under Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation, collects and compiles data of CPI. So here, C is the right answer, since both these statements are correct. And CPI, as I told, is used to calculate inflation, as you called Mahangai, levels in an economy. And there are four types of CPI. These are CPI for industrial workers, CPI for agriculture labors, CPI for labor, rural labors, and CPI for urban non-manual employees. So this one, CPI for urban non-manual employees is simply termed as CPI and these are called as CPI IW, CPI AL, CPI RL and see CPI UNME or simply CPI is calculated by CSO that is by Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation but these three are collected and published by Labor Bureau in the Ministry of Labor. Remember the difference that first three CPI is calculated by Labor Bureau of Ministry of Labor while CPI in general or CPI UNME is calculated by CSO coming under Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. And why it was in news? See recently Reserve Bank of India projected that consumer price index is to ease from 4.8% in quarter 1 to 4.4% in quarter 2 of the financial year 2022-2021. And how CPI is calculated? See, CSO takes a base year and 
द प्राइस ऑफ करेंट ईयर इज कम्पेयर्ड विद द प्राइस ऑफ बेस ईयर इफ द बेस ईयर इज लेट से ट्वेंटी इलेवन देन प्राइस ऑफ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी विल बी कैलकुलेटेड विद द प्राइस ऑफ ट्वेंटी इलेवन एंड द परसेंटेज ऑफ इंक्रीज ऑफ प्राइस फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी इलेवन इन द ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी विल बी सोन एज परसेंटेज ऑफ दिस दिस इज हाउ सी पी आई इज कैलकुलेटेड वी विल सी मोर डिटेल्स ऑफ कंज्यूमर प्राइस इंडेक्स वेन वी विल स्टार्ट इकॉनमी एंड वी विल ऑल्सो सी वोल सेल प्राइस इंडेक्स दीज आर द टू इंडेक्स विच इज यूज इन द कंट्री वोल सेल प्राइस इंडेक्स एंड कंज्यूमर प्राइस इंडेक्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स अबाउट यूनाइटेड अगेंस्ट कोविड सी यूनाइटेड अगेंस्ट कोविड इज एन आर्ट कॉम्पिटिशन विच इनकरेजेज सबमिशंस ऑफ आर्टिस्टिक एक्सप्रेशन टू प्रेजेंट दियर इमोशंस फीलिंग्स ideas and innovative thoughts on covid-19 social distancing and quarantine this is correct so this will basically organize a art campaign in which artist will submit their artistic expression of their emotions feeling in the time of crisis which the world or india is facing and it has been started by iccr that is indian council of culture relations so here both these statements are correct so again c is the right answer and this art competition is open to all the amateur and professional artists from india and the world over in all age categories and iccr has launched it so the indian council of culture relations is an autonomous organization of government of india it is involved in the india's external cultural relations through cultural exchange with other countries and their peoples and to know its other details you have to refer to the new series which i have started i will share the link of that video in the very first comment when you will scroll down you will find the link in the very first comment in the comment section as if i will explain here the video will get too longer next question the dues that countries pay in order to be a member of who is called as so it is called as assist contribution see every country to be a member of who has to contribute something and that contribution is called as assist contributions so remember this very important assist contribution and assist contribution is calculated related to country's wealth and population while there are other three categories of contributions these are the four categories of contributions we have seen assist contribution and these three are different or other kind of contributions in who so what is voluntary contributions see under voluntary con contributions member states or other partners provide contributions and this is in addition to their assist contribution core voluntary contribution this is the other category core voluntary contribution this allows less funded activities to get financed and then we have pandemic influenza preparedness contribution in short called as pip contributions so this is provided to improve and strengthen the sharing of influenza viruses with human pandemic potential and to increase the access to developing countries to vaccines and other pandemic related supplies and pip contribution was started in the year 2011 why contributions or to who is in news because recently united states has threatened to restrict its contribution to who because of its allegations of biasness towards china and and again to get more information on who you have to refer to the new video in the new series in my new channel but first watch this video till the end and then go to that channel too next question enforcement of decrees and orders of supreme court is provided under and at the end of the screen you will find a logo in black color there will be written study to light there you have to tap and then refer to that channel and then watch all the videos next question enforcement of decrees and orders of supreme court is provided under so it is provided under article 142 of the indian constitution next question right to form cooperative societies is provided by so right to form cooperative societies is provided by article 19 clause 1 so here b is the right answer to be precise article 19 clause 1 sub clause c provides right to form associations or unions or cooperative societies and cooperative societies this word was added into it after 97th constitutional amendment earlier 
Article 19, Clause 1, Sub Clause C did not include this word, but 97th Constitutional Amendment added this word to it. And it includes, that is, Article 19, Clause 1, Sub Clause C includes right to form political parties, companies, partnership firms, societies, clubs, organizations, trade unions, or any body of persons. So all the po political parties constituted as of now is constituted by using this right provided under Article 19, Clause 1. And Article 43B also provides right to promote voluntary formation, autonomous functioning, democratic control and professional management of cooperative societies. So in examination, they may ask you that which article is associated with cooperative societies. So remember that Article 19, Clause 1, Sub Clause C and Article 43B is associated with cooperative societies. Why in news? See, Kendriya Bhandar, which is a cooperative society, has prepared 2200 essential kits for distribution to needy families in Delhi in the wake of COVID-19. Again, I have discussed the details and many facts about Kendriya Bhandar in the new videos of the new series in the new channel that is Study to Light. So don't forget to watch that. Next question. Consider the following statements about Central Electrochemical Research Institute. See, it is a national laboratory under the aegis of Council of Scientific and Industrial Research, that is CSIR. This statement is correct. Central Electrochemical Research Institute is a national laboratory under CSIR and it works for research and development in electrochemical science and technology in India. This is also correct. So here both these statements are correct. So C is the right answer. Why in news? Recently, CECRI, which is based in Karai Kudi in Tamil Nadu, has prepared series of lab-made PPEs, that is personal protection equipments that include hand sanitizer solutions, hand wash solutions using coconut oil, sodium hypochlorite based disinfectant solutions. Next question, consider the following statements about One Stop Center. See, One Stop Center is a centrally sponsored scheme of Ministry of Women and Child Development. This is correct. Remember the ministry, Ministry of Women and Child Development has launched this centrally sponsored scheme called as One Stop Center. And it provide integrated support and assistance under one roof to women affected by violence, both in private as well as in public spaces. This is also correct. So here again, both these statements are correct. So C is the right answer. And it is a sub scheme of National Mission for Empowerment of Women. And this scheme is funded through Nidwaya Fund and the central government provides 100% financial assistance to states and union territory administrations. Remember that 100% financing is provided by the union government itself. Next question, consider the following statements about army worm caterpillar. Say, army worm caterpillar is larval stage of several species of moths. This is correct. And it has a huge appetite and can feed on more than 80 species of plants. This is also correct. That is why army worm caterpillar is very dangerous for farmers as it can feed on 80 species of plants. So here both these statements are correct. C is the right answer. Why in news? See recently, it has attacked in the northeastern Demaji district of Assam. And this information has been shared by Directorate of Agriculture, which have told that an army worm attack has been seen in northeastern Demaji district of Assam. And the scientific name of this army worm is Spodoptera frugi perda, if I pronounce it correctly, and also commonly referred as fall army worm, in short FAW. So remember that army worm is also called as fall army worm. And I have discussed what is etymology in the new video of new series. Now let's see some facts. The Tribal Cooperative Marketing Development Federation of India, in, in short called as TriFed, in collaboration with UNICEF, has launched digital communication strategy for the tribals to work safely. And recently, Standing Committee of the National Board of Wildlife had its first ever video conferencing meet. Now what is National Board for Wildlife 
and what is the standing committee of national board for wildlife and how these two bodies differ we have seen in detail in the new video and in this meeting nbwl has cleared infrastructure projects in 11 states so to new in detail about this nbwl you have to subscribe on this channel and if you find this video useful don't forget to like it subscribe to this channel too and answer the question in the comment section and wait for the upcoming video until then stay at your home and stay safe